Hey everybody, Luxinda Swirl here. We are going to do a comparison pour today, and we're also going to mix some paints. I got some brand new paints, different colors. Uh, so this is what we're gonna be working with. Artist Loft Light Magenta. Artist Loft Cerulean Blue. Craft Smart uh, Ocean Breeze. Deco Art Dazzling Metallic in Champagne Gold. Deco Art Dazzling Metallic in Peacock Pearl, and Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple. So, in order to do this comparison, I'm using, I'm going to mix each of these paints with, separately, with each of two different pouring mediums. First, I'm going to use Liquitex Pouring Medium, and for the uh, comparison, we're also going to mix these paints with Floetrol. I'm going to mix one part pouring medium, one part paint, and uh, so we'll have six cups of paints mixed with Liquitex, six cups of paints mixed with Floetrol, and then we will do two pours. So I wanted you to see me mix paints because I usually do that off camera, but some people are really interested in how this works. It's, it's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward, but we are going to do it on screen today. I will try and speed things up so you don't get too bored. I'm going to start with the Liquitex pouring medium. I'm basically going to eyeball one ounce in each cup and then one ounce of paint in each cup. And then, so it's going to be one part to one part. And then I'll mix. I'll do the same thing with the paints and the Floetrol. And then we're going to let them sit and we'll come back after they've had a chance to to get happy and release their bubbles. Okay. So this is the Liquitex pouring medium. Hey everybody, let's end a swirl here. We are back to do our comparison pour between paints mixed with Liquitex pouring medium and paints mixed with Floetrol, which we did earlier in the same video. For me, it's been more than a day, so <laughs> I've got to get up to speed here. Uh, we are going to be working on a 10 by 20 canvas, which means we need approximately 12 and a half ounces to cover the whole thing 
which means we need approximately six and a quarter ounces in each of these two cups of the Floetrol and the Liquitex. Okay, and we have six cups, six colors, so a little more than half of what's in each cup, this side in this bowl, this side in this bowl, ought to get us to the right place. And I'm going to keep everything in the same order, and then we'll do a ring pour, and then we'll do a comb over, and we will tilt and see what we see. I will be working in the order that I have them here. I don't know if you can see them all that well. We have the Dioxazine Purple, the Craft Smart Matte, oh, that's from uh, Liquitex, Craft Smart uh, Ocean Breeze, which is like an aqua green. We have the Artist Loft Light Magenta. We have the Artist Loft Cerulean Blue. We have the Deco Art Dazzling Metallic Gold and Dazzling Metallic Blue. So, I'll just, keep, I'll just keep rotating through in the same order with these cups, and, and then we'll get to the pouring part. All right, I would estimate we have a little more in this one, but approximately seven ounces in each of these cups. So let's see if I can do a two-handed ring pour. This will be a first. I see a big difference already. Crakey. Wow, considerably different. Just a reminder, this is the Liquitex Basics, no, sorry, the Liquitex Pouring Medium, no basics, and this is Floetrol, one-to-one -one with the paints. All right, come over time. Woohoo! Which... Shall I do it separately? Uh, 
And now we tilt. It's like I didn't even put any magenta in this one, but I did, you saw me. Wow, look at the difference. What a difference. That is fascinating. All right, let's go in for our close-up. Lower right-hand corner. This would be the all flow trawl side. Up to the upper right hand corner and across the top and this would be where we switch from um, Floetrol to Liquitex over here. So on your left we're going into the Liquitex side still going across the top to the upper left corner. It's all Liquitex pouring medium now down the left side to the bottom left corner and across the bottom. Again, we are now shifting back into the flow trawl side. Hopefully I've been saying this correctly. The right side is flow trawl, the left side is Liquitex. Left for Liquitex. And back to the lower right hand corner, which is flow trawl territory. Now we'll try and get the entire thing in frame here and focused. All right, let me know what you think, folks. I would have to say uh, the Liquitex pouring medium results are a lot prettier. I think they, they poured better and they held their lines better. But I'm curious to hear which side you like better and what your experience has been with Liquitex pouring medium versus using Floetrol. Thanks everyone, stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.